Good morning, beloved. This morning our devotional is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 6 to 10. The Word of God says, We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age, or of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, do we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to cling not to worldly wisdom, to worldly knowledge, but to spiritual wisdom and to glory, to the glory of the risen Christ Jesus and our place in heaven through faith in Christ. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, uh, we need to ask ourselves a very troubling question. Uh, that is, are we truly mature Christians? Are we truly mature or are we still childish? Uh, verse 6, for we do not speak a message of wisdom. Uh, we do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of, the, of this age who are coming to nothing. Maturity in Christ Jesus comes uh, through the Word of God. We grow in the Word of God and we become mature in that. It's not the wisdom of this world. It's not worldly wisdom. It's not experience. Those things are profitable. And if you need help, it's always good to find someone who has been through the situation you're going through and benefit from their wisdom. I, we all uh, knew a grandmother or a grandfather, a mother or father, or an older a friend that we could turn to and get worldly wisdom when we had trouble. It might have been something as simple as repairing a lawnmower uh, all the way to uh, how to be a better husband, a better son, a better wife, a better daughter. But we all had someone that we could turn to for wisdom. The wisdom the Word of God gives us is not this worldly wisdom. No, it is God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. Beloved, that is the wisdom the world cannot accept, but that we receive. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. The wisdom of God goes beyond all of those things. The, the wise of this world reject uh, Jesus. The wise of this world reject God the Father. The wise of this world uh, reject the Holy Spirit. But God, in his word, reveals the triune, his triune nature to us and reveals salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. The rulers of this world, the, the wise of this world, the learned and the, the teachers and the exalted, they reject Jesus. But God, in his wisdom, teaches the mature. Now the question we have to ask ourselves, are we mature? Do we seek the Word of God or do we not seek the Word of God? We, beloved, we need to spend time not uh, learning from a pastor or a teacher, but learning from God by seeking His Word every day. Because when we seek the Word of God, when we devote ourselves to God and His Word, the Holy Spirit becomes our instructor. If you wait for me to teach you, of course my ego will, will call me to do that. You know, we all want to be respected, exalted, recognized maybe. 
but I'm fallible. I make mistakes. I say the wrong thing. I teach the wrong thing. Beloved, God the Spirit is infallible, omniscient, omnipresent. God the Spirit is the teacher we need. Look with me at the final verse. These are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. Beloved, are you mature? Becoming mature is being instructed by the Holy Spirit. Let us devote ourselves to the proposition that when we seek the Word of God, God the Spirit grows us into maturity. May God bless you as you go about your day.